Well, I'll say it was just a miserable day for just about all the handicappers here at the site yesterday. Personally, I had uh, my highest rated play of my career in college football. I was 2-0 with those selections. Rare 30 dimers so far this season, including Fresno State over Air Force on Saturday. I thought it looked good with Rutgers up 14-3 going into the second half. But, of course, turnovers doomed me. But, you know, you can't really blame it on turnovers. And I talk about it on my homepage today. And the same thing can be said with everybody that was on New Orleans last night. I mean, yes, Drew Brees, a miserable game, five interceptions. But, you know, the Falcons didn't really move the ball under 300 yards in total offense. Many in this business will say that you can't handicap turnovers. And there's a certain amount of truth to that. But in reality, it's a non-factor when it comes to handicapping. Listen, you've got to assume that somebody... One team or the other, if not both teams, are going to turn the ball over. But you can't be a psychic and go ahead and base your handicapping on turnover. So it's a moot point. The fact is, I know personally with my play last night, I thought Rutgers was absolutely the best bet on the board simply because Louisville's quarterback was playing with a broken, non-throwing wrist and a sprained ankle. And I thought his mobility would be limited. I thought he'd struggle having to play on the shotgun the entire game. I thought he'd struggle handing off the ball. And all he did was come in in the second quarter, play the rest of the game, play magnificently, complete 20 out of 28 passes. It had nothing really to do with the turnovers. Sure, the three turnovers led to 10 of Louisville's 20 points. It certainly contributed to the loss, but the fact is, the team I bet on sucked last night. And that's why the game lost. So you can't blame it on turnovers. The fact is, last night, the Atlanta Falcons didn't play that well, and yet they still managed to win and cover. Everybody that was on New Orleans, okay. Granted, Drew Brees, five interceptions, first game after 50 consecutive games, he didn't throw a touchdown. It certainly hurt their cause. But again, I just find that when you blame turnovers for losing a game, I'm sorry, you know, you don't credit turnovers for you when you win a game. You stand up, you take the win, you take the loss, and you move forward. As for tonight... Uh, Trace Adams, normally a 1,000-star play is his highest-rated selection. Sometimes he raises the bar to 1,500-star releases like he did last Sunday with the 49ers over New Orleans on the road. Tonight, upping the ante once more. Double your wager winner, 2,000-star lock, number three in a row. It's on UCLA Stanford. His last 2,000-star play was Miami, Florida over Duke this past Saturday. And a couple Saturdays ago, he had a 2,000-star play when UCLA took care of business at home against USC. Does he back the Bruins again tonight or go the other way with Stanford in the Pac-12 title game? Craig Davis winning day number 14 out of 21 on tap. And if he wins tonight, he pushes the bankroll to over $3,000 won for $10 betters over the past three weeks because he's got his 50 dime teaser excuse me 50 dime winner number 28 out of 44 overall in all sports 28 out of 44 to two team teaser northern illinois and kent state just as strong as his 50 dime winner that he gave you on carolina on monday night oh also fyi yesterday the five dollar play of the week went down in flames as the braves as the braves braves could have scored more points than the falcons as the falcons and saints did not go over so jeff benton lost as well yesterday anthony red lost yesterday going for a third Third consecutive 80 dime winner in the NFL, a third 80 dime winner in three days. He was on the Saints last night as well. So I don't have any good news to tell you other than a couple of the handicappers I just mentioned. Let's instead get to your money saving discount coupon code, which today is going to be $20 off for a single purchase. Travel 20. Travel 20. T R A V E L and the number 20. T R A V E L. Travel 20. No space between the word travel. T R A V E L and the number 20. Two zero. Put it in when prompted and you will save $20 off a single purchase. Listen, your free pick today. And I won again last night. San Antonio Spurs, bizarre circumstances, but shoot, one anyway. So that's four straight NBA winners, 10 out of 12 uh, free pick winners since Sunday. Uh, tonight I'm going to go with the Denver Nuggets plus the points against the Lakers. Lakers' last home game lost 79-77 to the Pacers, and it was one of those games where everybody stood around and watched Kobe go for 40, and nobody else did a damn thing offensively. No ball movement. Of course, when you don't have a point guard, that's the problem with not having any ball movement. Uh, you know, the Lakers have lost now three of their last four games. Granted, the Nuggets aren't exactly coming in here on a red-hot roll. They've lost the first two games of this three-game road trip. Narrow losses, losing by two points at Utah and one point at uh, Golden State. But I think tonight... 
They're getting five. They were getting five and a half earlier. I just think that this is too many points for a very deep Nuggets team that will look to press the action with Ty Lawson running the show. They'll look to be aggressive, go to the hole. They've got enough big men, not as talented big men as the Lakers do, but they have enough big men to certainly, um, you know, combat the Lakers' front line. And I just think that their depth and the pace of this game ultimately will dictate Denver covering the game. Be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if Nuggets win the game outright. So that'll do it, guys. Best of luck to you all. And I will catch you again on Saturday.